number of dead in the train accident have risen uh, to 261. Now to talk more about this train accident, it's the worst that we've seen in India in the last two decades. We're now joined uh, by uh, T.S. Ramakrishnan, railway expert, and uh, Brigadier Vinod Datta, a former senior consultant uh, with NIDM. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Mr. Ramakrishnan, first to you, your reaction to this horrific train accident. You know, one had really hope that these kind of train accidents that used to happen more frequently, you know, when I started journalism, we used to see every few years these kind of accidents. But in the last couple of years, you know, we had really hoped that they were behind us. Yeah, true, true, true. Because for the last five, six years, there were no major accidents and the railway has been improving its uh, safety track record over the years uh, very well. So this is uh, comes as a very black spot for uh, Indian railways because they have been uh, doing extra, I mean, enormously well with reference to uh, safety of uh, passengers and uh, uh, train services. So uh, this time it is, uh, you know, completely has gone, I mean, out of control because uh, it's not just about the uh, train, I mean, hitting on each other. It is about the tracks. It is about the coaches who have been, it has been derailed and then. Um, which comes to the other side of the track and which cannot be, de I mean, uh, detected by the kavach or any anti collision device because it's like uh, it doesn't have these coaches independently, don't have any communication system as such to integrate to the other train that uh, they are on the track. So, this is how actually the whole thing has happened and it must have been happened in the uh, in the, in the block that is uh, what we call it a 10 kilometer block where uh, there is no signal as such. So normally at every 10 kilometer there is a block and only at the end of 10 kilometers the signal will start and again at the end of uh, and then it ends after a few kilometers and then another 10, 20 kilometer will be uh, a block right. without signal. So this is where actually the action could have happened. But anyhow, um, now actually with the kind of action that has happened, uh, now Indian Railway has to move towards the next level of uh, technology in uh, signaling. So that um, the entire train, the train movement is continuously monitored than monitoring at the signaling points. So that is what well, they are sir, uh, supposed to do. a huge failure, uh, you know, somewhere uh, to have such a huge accident taking place. And uh, uh, Brigadier Datta, you know, right now we're still waiting, as, as you know, Mr. Ramakrishna was saying, we're still waiting for the categorical report of exactly what happened. But what we do understand is one is one of the passenger trains. This was the initial, uh, you know, information that came that a goods train was stationary and a passenger train uh, came and hit it and the, bo and the carriages fell on the other uh, tracks. And the second train train which is going in the other direction hit those carriages. Then we've also heard that all the three trains were on different tracks. So we're still waiting for an absolutely categorical account of what happened, but uh, horrific and an accident involving three separate trains. Yeah, that's very tragic. Uh, and it is uh, one of the very serious accidents, uh, you know, and uh, Gargi, what you rightly said is that uh, off late, uh, the railways were doing uh, pretty well. And we haven't heard uh, of any major mishaps, uh, you know, like this. So this is a very, very serious uh, rail disaster. Uh, but the uh, uh, good point is that the rescue operations were uh, immediately pressed in. The NDRF teams were there say, about, uh, by 8.30, 8.45. And uh, even the army has also pressed in uh, their teams. And the, uh, you, know, you know, in such cases, the first response or the first responder is the local community, which comes to help because uh, by the time the resources are moved, uh, uh, because uh, if you see these ARMVs, or the uh, these uh, relief uh, trains, they are generally kept at a radial distance of say about 150 kilometers, and uh, generally it is expected that they will take say about uh, uh, you know one and a half to two two hours uh, to get uh, into action and reach uh, the site. So uh, the immediate response now, what happens in such cases is that the uh, the procedure which is followed is that uh, the uh, injured are given uh, top priority so that they are shifted. Uh, the triage is done and they are shifted to. Uh, the, uh, they are given the medical help. Uh, then uh, uh, the attention is given to the fatal cases. And then the people who are trapped inside, because that's a very deliberate and a surgical operation, because uh, there is a procedure that how will you approach a, a sleeper uh, AC uh, coach? How will you approach a sleeper coach? How will you approach a general compartment? Because all those, uh, you know, emergency windows and the door uh, and the uh, other windows have to be, uh, you know, uh, cut and they have to be moved outwards. The door uh, procedure is also different so that, uh, you see, no injured person should get uh, further aggravated. 
so all yeah. these procedures uh, they take time and uh, they are being uh, done deliberately and uh, hats off to uh, the railways and uh, the ndrf and the army teams which are there and uh, it is a very good uh, sign that uh, most of the uh, you know political uh, might is also there uh, uh, you know who are uh, helping in uh, this rescue operation and uh, i'm sure uh, uh, you know people will be uh, given medical help and uh, uh, they they will be uh, they they have already been shifted to various uh, medical uh, centers and medical hospitals that's right and it's been heartening to see uh, you know there was a call for uh, blood donation and so many people lined up to donate blood because one can imagine the kind of injuries people have uh, there were heart rending accounts from some of the passengers who managed to survive and how he spoke how there were limbs everywhere and passengers were crushed uh, ts ramakrishnan there's been a lot of talk about this covered technology which the government had earlier spoken about that was to prevent uh, such a train collision so the railways has clarified that on this route there was a no coverage protection for viewers if you could just uh, briefly explain that yeah so 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 coverage is essentially meant for uh, i mean it is a anti collision uh, uh, collision avoidance systems which is uh, built on uh, the locomotive of the train so in such a way that if if the if two trains are coming in the opposite direction then the trains will speak to each other and then automatically both trains will stop or if the it also avoids this rear collision in the sense when if the train is going and the previous train is also going in front and if it uh, reaches a minimum distance then automatically this train will stop so this will this is applicable only for the uh, direct train uh, collision whether it is um, head on collision or rear uh, end collision but in this case is uh, different because the coaches are uh, the you know are put are uh, thrown onto the next track and the coaches don't have ind- independent the communication systems so certainly the train cannot uh, uh, the coaches cannot communicate with the train which is coming and uh, hitting on it so this is where actually the entire system needs to be thoroughly reviewed and then new uh, signaling techniques especially continuous monitoring of the trains you know so that has to be uh, developed so that uh, even in uh, even in the absence of kavach uh, even uh, in the area where there is no signaling still the train will be able to be i mean right so in this particular case right. even if there was uh, the kavach protection it would not have helped if it is indeed uh, the passenger train that hit the goods train yeah yeah goods train also has kavach but the only point is The, the the it's being and all the coaches are being scattered all over so it can go and hit in it is like a uh, you know uh, like a, uh, any boulder or anything which is uh, lying on the track so that uh, cannot be i mean uh, directed by the uh, train as such so All right. And now, uh, Brigadier Datta, what we also know is that there were a, a huge number of people as well in the train, and we've seen visuals of you know this, these particular trains and the bogies and how crowded they get the general compartments. And uh, so, in this case as well, given it's the you know summer months, the holiday months, many people heading home, traveling, and uh, that too is a challenge in the rescue operation, given the huge number. And that's why we're seeing such a huge number of deaths and injuries. yeah gargi you are right because the uh, time was not uh, you know appropriate uh, for uh, you know uh, such a tragedy because uh, as you rightly brought out that uh, people were uh, rushing uh, to their home as they were having holidays and uh, uh, you know most of the trains are over packed and over jammed now uh, you see the railway should also uh, you know uh, understand that uh, you know we uh, transports about uh, almost 2 crore people uh, almost the population of australia every day and which is a huge challenge though railways are doing a yeoman service and they are doing a wonderful job but yes uh, during the summer specials uh, they 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 could space out uh, you know this passenger load and uh, there should be uh, you know certain uh, uh, checks and balances where not more than uh, you know an acceptable limit people should be allowed and this is a very very critical uh, you know uh, situation especially in the general compartments and especially people uh, you know uh, going to, uh, you know towards bengal bihar and uh, up which are highly densely uh, populated uh, states so uh, what i find is like i have uh, you know dealt with a lot of uh, disaster like situations the problem is that all after action reports will be taken everything will be done but what india needs it that we must uh, you know imp- you know we must press or we must impress on action taken or the actions 
taken and implemented execution is bad uh, because just learning these lessons uh, has no meaning so unless you apply those lessons that what in the army we do that what are the uh, lessons which have been applied so that we don't uh, have any recurring uh, you know uh, you know accidents like this so uh, i'll request uh, railways that we must have check and balances so that the uh, human density especially in the general compartment should be reduced and more trains can be pressed into service uh, during these uh, you know high volume traffic uh, uh, period right absolutely and mr ramakrishnan you know right now the as i said at the start you we one was one was really hoping that these kind of accidents were behind us that you know because now the focus is on the vande bharat trains the fast trains uh, very clean trains and you know having alternatives to even air travel people using the train service so uh, you know everything seemed very pleasant and uh, you know brimming uh, with uh, you know uh, 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 with positivity as far as the railways went but this sort of accident has really set back uh, the whole uh, you know f- the, uh, the the talk around railways the feeling around railways given that such a horrific accident could take place and again something that we thought was now a thing of the past yeah so i want to tell you one important thing fortunately these uh, these two trains which are the uh, two passengers are with us one is from uh, bangalore to howrah and one is from howrah to delhi they are all made up of let's uh, see I have been nice to notice that Delhi, the fifteen uh, Delhi should have been much much higher because it was the fact that around thousand eight hundred passengers were involved in this accident. Fortunately, we have moved to uh, you know, a more electric focus, and that is why the Delhi, the fifteen Delhi or that's why they have been restricted to less than three hundred. Otherwise, we would have gone to six hundred, seven hundred. That is possible. Second thing is we also have to move towards uh, I mean, higher, better technology with, with different slowing stop also. For example. The train sets. For the Bharat, these are train sets. Train sets are normally more uh, sturdy and more. It doesn't derail so easily, uh, and it because it's a single set. It is not like connected by you know coupling. So it is a single train set, and uh, they don't derail so easily compared to locomotive haul trains. So we also have to I mean move towards uh, better uh, rolling stock so that. Even uh, the, the derailment doesn't happen so quickly, so I mean, often, and that uh, this kind of derailment uh, can also cascade into some kind of interaction. Uh, what is that? So improvement, improvement in the rolling stock technology, improvement in uh, signaling, then uh, improvement in uh, maintenance of the tracks. So we all, I mean, have to be given uh, utmost priority, and uh, hopefully, I mean, uh, we'll be able to move towards that when the all this is done. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ramakrishnan and uh, Brigadier Datta, for uh, speaking to us on this issue.